So, the future is now. And what I mean by the future is now, Trey Lance will be the guy. All trades about this offseason, about Jimmy Garoppolo going to be gone earlier than March 16th, it pretty much puts the sign that we're going to put our investment in Trey Lance. And here's why the future is now. Because you invested this kid. You give up a lot of draft capitals. This kid can get something. The media, they're going to bash him because they don't they don't think he's as good as everybody thinks he is. They're thinking that he's overhyped as the Mahomes guy, which we all know that's not the case. There's been the talks of maybe he can be a Josh Allen because of the accuracy issues and the decision-making his rookie year. People keep forgetting about Josh Allen. Remember, people weren't sure about him. When he was drafted out of Wyoming, the guy had a cannon arm. He just had accuracy issues. And the fact that his rookie season wasn't exactly as the way it was, he got playing experience. He got better. And now Buffalo, they're contending as the AFC East champs. They are a team that will be contending for Super Bowls in the near future because of Josh Allen. If you saw that game... This is the future of what this league's going to be like. You're going to get mobile quarterbacks. You're going to get guys who's going to make some plays. And the one thing that stands out about Trey Lance was the arm. The accuracy, it can be coachable. It can be fixed. And this is why he's going to need a full offseason. And I know a lot of you guys are kind of taking the negativity of what I'm saying but I am lowering the expectations. I'm, I'm not saying that there's no doubt in my mind. I believe in Trey Lance. I think he's going to be a far better quarterback than what Jimmy Garoppolo will ever be. But I got to be truly realistic. Trey Lance is going to get a full season as a starter. He's going to get experience. And it's only going to get better. So if, if I'm wrong about these seven wins, then hey, I'll take accountability. But I am just... Lowering the expectations because I don't want to put my hopes up because I'm not trying to be like those other fan base that expect, oh, we're going to win freaking 12 games. We're going to the Super Bowl. I don't want to talk like that, man. It makes us look foolish. Let's just take it during the offseason. Let's see what happens in free agency. But as far as what Trey Lance has to do to prove the doubters wrong and to prove to the organization that they made the right decision by picking him is to do a lot of offseason training, get with the receivers, get with the program, and put some work out there and improve your accuracy and you'll be a beast. And improve your touch-up because those fastball throws, dude, those are where receivers will drop it, bro. You're going to break their fingers. That's the one major issue that I've seen. But other than that, man, you got to play really you got you're really good dude so what i like about trey lance is you're very mobile you can move out of the pocket and make something out of nothing and that's what i like about you you play this game like a sandlot out there dude this is like a much bigger version of what russell wilson is you got the cannon arm kind of like a josh allen you got the intelligence like a patrick mahomes you got the skill set you got the upside this is what we want but we got to see how it pays off. I mean, if you're going to trade all this stuff for this kid, this is the time to invest him. So this is where Shanahan needs to prove himself that this was the right guy. Because I think a lot of the media is going to say, well, he was forced to pick uh, Trey Lance because of this shit. Well, he was forced to pick. He could have want Mac Jones. That's what all the media is going to say. But at the end of the day, if Trey Lance turns out to be as good as everybody doesn't expect him to be, then it's a win-win for the Niners. Because Shanahan's never had a quarterback like this. I think he's never had a quarterback like that. His dad's had a quarterback like that. His dad had a Steve Young. His dad had a John Elway. Those guys won Super Bowls. They were mobile. And who did Shanahan coach in his entire career? He's coached the likes of Kirk Cousins. RG3 in his rookie year, but then he kind of ruined his career. But let's it's another discussion for that. But then you look at other quarterbacks. Brian Hoyer, who the fuck was he? He was a bum. He made him look okay in Cleveland. Uh, you had Kirk Cousins. Uh, he turned him into a hell of a good player. I mean, you can go with Matt Schaub, Matt Ryan, Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, C.J. Beathard, Nick Mullins, bro. These were like pretty much scrubs. 
But Shanahan can make anybody out of nobody. So can you imagine what he can do with Trey Lance? Trey Lance has the ability to be one of the best quarterbacks that we ever had since Steve Young. So that's what I'm saying. But Joe Montana says the kid ain't ready. What is he talking about? Like, you gotta you invested this kid. You so you want him to sit on the bench for another year. No disrespect to the GOAT Joe Montana, but dude, we gotta let the kid play. You gotta give him experience. Whether he's ready or not, bro, it's better to get this kid's uh experience, get his feet wet, get him to get this speed of the game. He's going to have to adjust to it. He's going to have to learn. And he'll get better. It's all about experience and playing at the NFL level. And plus, he's taken a full season learning. And he's played a couple of games. He got two starting experience under his belt. He's got he's 1-1 one one as a starter. He's got five touchdowns, two interceptions, 600 yards passing. He's he's showing some he's he's showing some signs and some potential. The fact that we invested this guy to sit on the bench just to learn for one year is good enough. Sometimes you want to give him another year, then that's that's up to you. But I don't think we're that kind of team that's just going to let this kid sit on the bench forever. You got to let this kid play. And realistically, here's why I think this kid's going to be our future. And it's never going to change how I feel about him. I feel like this kid's going to put up some crazy stats. He's going to throw the ball deep. He's going to move out of the pocket. He's going to make our running game a lot scarier. Because Jimmy was never a mobile quarterback. Let's be honest. Jimmy was never quite that mobile guy. But uh, Trey Lance is, bro. Trey Lance is fast. He's going to give you some good yardage when it's necessary. When nobody's open, he may run here and there. But when plays are not open yet he's gonna take his time on the pocket extend plays escape away from the pressure and throw the ball deep or throw it to somebody who wasn't open to begin with and is open on that play that's what makes Trey Lance so special and this is why I'm on board with this pick last offseason I said hey I like this Trey Lance kid I think we should get him but a lot of people at first were saying oh you seem like a Mac Jones fan but a lot of these Justin Field fan boys were thinking that way and I said nah I want Trey Lance bro and then they just shut up about it eventually when we drafted him. So I say, hey, this is the guy I wanted. And I feel like the upside is going to be him stepping in. Shanahan's definitely is going to prove himself. The fact that Shanahan's on the hot seat for this expectation, he's got at least a couple of years to develop this kid. And if it doesn't pan out, he's good as gone. But if he turns out as good as everybody says he is, oh my God, dude, they're going to call Shanahan the genius. They're going to they're gonna keep him as a 49er forever. Because he's developing this kid. And this kid's going to be a legitimate potential MVP candidate in the near future. He might even be eventual Super Bowl champion in the next couple of years. If he develops the right way. If he develops the right way, this kid's got the making of being the face of this franchise. So let me know what you guys think in those comments. As always, CG Ruthless Sports is out. And you already know.